Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. So what I have in front of me here is I... <laughs> I actually don't know what I have in front of me here because I haven't figured that out yet. A while back I saw a video of those eBay mystery box openings. They would just order, people would basically sell this mystery box on eBay, which was basically like, I'm just gonna take a bunch of random shit and then sell for $100 and then idiots on YouTube will buy them to unbox. Who's in the box? Oh, what's in the box? Me what's in the fucking box? So I kind of wanted to do that. It would have been funny. I'd be that idiot. But eBay took that off their site because it's basically just scamming. So I went on Facebook unintentionally. I don't use Facebook. Don't talk shit to me. Ha! <laughs> Gay! And I saw one of the Facebook ads that had a mystery box of men's clothing. And in my head, I was like, really? Am I really about to buy something from a Facebook ad? But it kind of perfectly aligned with this and the clothes on the ads looked really cool. I'm about to open this up. There's gonna be a bunch of dildos or something. I would have gotten pranked. Prank gone wrong, gone sexual, gone dildo. So actually though, it's called Thread Beast. This is not sponsored. Don't talk shit to me. I know I sell out all the time. And you know what? I embrace it. I love selling out. It's a great, it's a great thing to do. It's fun. But this is not sponsored at all. I will be giving my honest opinion on whatever the hell is in this box. I did email them and ask if I could get it for free, but they did. They, they rejected my clout. They had you put in height and weight. So obviously for me, that was 6'5", 245, raw muscle. The raw muscle thing was, was not necessary. I just threw it in just in case. Uh, and then they said like, select your preferred style and your preferred colors. So that was it. Like it was very ambiguous. They had a $50, $100 and $150 box. I bought the $150 box because there was a coupon code on the site that was $50 off. So this is supposedly in this box is $150 worth of clothes. That's the thing with clothes though. It's like, why would you want a mystery box of clothes when you could just choose what you want? I don't know, we'll see, actually. Let's just hop straight into this, I guess. I've been talking too much. So, Thread Beast, quality number one since 2015. Took off the stickers that have my address on it. I'm not letting you fuckers see that. This is the moment of truth, boys. I'm actually kind of excited. I really want there to be cool stuff in here. Oh, this is like Christmas. It's literally like choosing to ship myself a Christmas box, kind of. First thing is a sweatshirt. I can already tell that right now. It's got a Threadbeast sticker sitting right here to wrap it up. Aw. And it comes with one of these little guys. I'll probably put that on my Mac. I'll be that guy. And someone will ask me what Threadbeast is and I'm like, <laughs> use my promo code MMG. It's not sponsored, you fucks. God, I, already, I can already see you typing in the comments. Ha, MMG, you sellout bitch. I will, mmm. Okay, I will say this, this first sweatshirt looks actually kind of nice. I think it's a diamond sweatshirt. See, I don't really wear diamond, so it's like, meh. But this, this looks pretty solid already. First thing out of, oh shit, I didn't see that. First thing out of the box, on the back, Diamond Supply Co. Team, it's like a Team USA, something or other. It says USA and it's got the flag down there. That's actually kind of sick. I see, you know what's funny? is when I make clothes or when I wear clothes, this is the stuff I wear, like really minimalist stuff on the front, but like cool stuff on the back. I actually like this. I gotta try it on right now. I'm gonna get naked real quick. All right, I'm getting naked on camera. Here we go. Just kidding. I actually am doing this in front of my editor, so whoever's editing this has to see this. <laughs> you know you wanted to see that. You perverted little shit. All right, TBH. This fits perfectly, like actually really well. This is a good start to box. I don't like diamond though. Like I, if I were to go to a store, I wouldn't buy it. You know what I mean? All right, start to the box. This is solid. And I will say diamond hoodies are like, what, like 60, 70 bucks. That's a decent amount of the value. And there's a lot of shit left in this box. Oh, there's a hat. Okay, I can switch out my Minnesota wild hat right now. The hundreds with an H and an eagle. I literally have no idea what that is. Nothing on the back. I'll try it on though. And you know what? It's red, white, and blue too. So it's gonna match. Look at how fucked up. Ah, look at the top of his head. Please don't look at that. Jeez. Dude, I get hat hair so bad. Nah, not a fan. Probably not a fan. It makes my head look like this little fucking, I look like a swimmer. I look like Michael Phelps with his Speedo on. This fucking hat is tiny. This is hat for my dick. <laughs> this shit does not, maybe my head's just big as fuck, but this doesn't fit. I feel like it doesn't fit. Maybe that's like how it's the style of it. All right, so the hat to know. I might, I'll find good use for that. I'll, maybe I'll gift it to my mom or something, but the hat is an L. We'll take that out of the box. Oh my gosh, look at this little retro ass wallet. This is kind of fruity. Like, 
Is this, isn't this a guy's box? Like, I ain't using this. Yeah, if you ever catch me out in public using this wallet, fight me. We're gonna go with this next. I've been seeing this for a minute here. I like flannels. I don't know how I feel about this colorway though. This is something I'm 100% gonna have to try on. Cause like, that looks kinda nice, honestly. If this was all red with like tight white and black and gray, that might be kinda cool. Or maybe all blue with this like black and gray. But I don't know about this. Go time with it. Meh. I give it, I give it a meh out of 10. For one, the collar is like stiffened like someone pissed on it and then let it sit in the sun. It's like rock fucking solid. So that's kind of bizarre. I think it's salvageable though. I got out my polo vest, cause I think if I put this on, see like that's, I look okay. I could wear that out. That's salvageable. Meh salvageable. It fits well though. Most shirts when I put them on like this, like all the buttons rip off cause of my massive chest. But like this one, it's good. Not used to that. It's refreshing. I've been looking at this for a minute and this looks really fucking cool. If this is what I think it is, I think this is a, either a basketball jersey or a hockey jersey. And I, this has really caught me off guard, but this is nasty. Oh, I think it's a hockey jersey. Dude, this is like Christmas. This is actually sick. I guess I'm number eight for primitive squad, but this is actually really fucking cool. This is either, this is what you do with hockey jerseys, because hockey jerseys are super baggy and big. I'm willing to bet this will be baggy and big on me, even though this is probably a medium. You either give them to a chick to wear, because girls look super hot in these, or you wear a sweatshirt underneath this. I'm gonna go throw on a sweatshirt and try this on. Go time with it. Absolute fuego. Look at this outfit, okay. First things first, you probably just saw it. Sleeves are too long, but that's like how hockey jerseys are sometimes. Hockey, I have an MSU hockey jersey and the sleeves are way too short. So like, I feel like sleeves are kind of hard to do with hockey jersey materials, but I'm literally sad that winter is kind of coming to an end because I want to wear this. Like, this is a W. I'm trying to get the whole thing in the shot. Mmm, vert. What do you think that was, like a 40, 41? I got some wet, wet this is a, an L. These shits are whack. How did they get this design? Did they just, I think a lot of their designs just come from peeing on stuff. I think someone just put, they hung it up, and they just started sword fighting right in front of the sock. And that's how they got this design. I think that's a giraffe. We might have salvaged the, nope, it's just random bullshit. This is literally what the fuck. Yeah, dude, uh, maybe I'll sleep in these, but no thank you. What's up with them and giraffes? I think I got another giraffe shirt here, hold up. Next thing we're trying on is this giraffe looking ass shirt. I probably won't end up trying this on. It's interesting, LRG <laughs> giraffe t-shirt. This would be like a novelty shirt. Maybe I would wear it outside of sleeping in it, but probably not. That's just not me. I mean, it might be some people, but it's not me. My first ever job was working in a pack sun. I was in, I was sophomore year of high school and in my head I was like, I want a job where I can like meet girls. So I wanted to go work at pack sun because whenever I used to go into pack sun to shop, I would see hot girls in there. I met one super hot chick though. I swear to God I did. I didn't get her number, but I met her. Next shirt, same brand, also an L. And this one might be a hard L. I honestly don't need to unfold this. Maybe I will just for the video, but this is another LRG shirt. Already too much graphics. I don't like this much shit on a shirt. And second, what is this color scheme, bro? I am like a fucking orange traffic sign. What even is that, bro? Is that some Illuminati shit? All right, looks like there's one final t-shirt in the bin. Oh my God, this one might actually be kind of cool. All right, so to start out, oh, it's simplistic on the front. That's actually sick. I still, I don't know what brand this is either. It's like an anchor with a snake in it. Like it's just a clean shirt with a logo right up there. Like that's, that's all I need in life. And the back, primitive, good for life. Oh, it's the same, it's the same brand as this, primitive. I might have to do a little more research on this brand. This brand is actually kind of dope so far. Okay, so let's do an overall review. Now I will say this, this isn't sponsored and I know I'm such a loser for doing this. But I did get an email back saying they have an affiliate program. So if you guys do wanna buy one of these boxes anyway, I do have a link. And if you buy a box, I get a box. 
So if enough of you do that, I will do another one of these videos, which would actually be super cool. I'm not saying get one though, because I wouldn't necessarily recommend getting one of these. It's definitely smarter to just go to the store and buy fucking clothes. And you get like a free 50 bucks for the stuff if you use my link. But it's still not sponsored. Anyone can do that. If you refer a friend on the website, you get a free box if they buy one. So like if you were to get it and then tell your friend to get it and he used your link, you'd get a free box too. Okay, let's review. So, first of all, how much did it cost? So I bought the premium box, which was 150 bucks, but I got $50 off because of whatever. So this is 100 bucks worth of stuff here, although if I kept doing it, it'd be 150. Was it worth it? Let's go through the things that are 100% dope before I go to anything else. What I'm wearing right now, this is sick as hell. I don't know how much this would cost in the store. I would imagine it's more than $50. So if I were in a store, I would have, I would actually buy this. So I would say this was worth it. And this hoodie right here, I don't know if I would have bought this in a store, but this is already one of my favorite hoodies right now. This is really sick. It's got the USA up here, it's got this USA up here. It's actually really nice material. And the back of this is like really, really cool. This is similar to what I wanna do with MMG gear. I wanna just put like MMG here and maybe a little some sort of decal something. And then on the back have like something like that, you know? Only other thing that 100% will wear is this shirt. Bruh. This shirt's actually cool. I didn't even, Fucking unfold it. 100% will wear this shirt. This thing's, this thing's dope. I'll give you that. Now for the rest of it, that's the thing though. It's like, had I just bought, I wonder what it would have cost if I had just bought this, this, and this. What would that have cost? Because this is virtually, this is basically like fodder for a fire. This shirt's going in there second. I'm burning some giraffes today. I'm sorry, PETA, but these giraffes are gone. Piss socks, which were, designed by someone literally pissing on something. I don't, cannot see myself realistically wearing those. This hat would be cool if it didn't make me look like a fucking penis. Why is it so tight on my damn head? Kind of cool hat, doesn't fit too well. And there is a possibility I would wear this. I don't know if I ever actually would, but there's a decent possibility I would wear this. All in all, kind of cool. I would say buy it if you just want to do like a mystery like opening, you know? Like if, it's kind of like the Christmas effect. Like whatever the hell my parents are gonna buy me for Christmas, I probably could have done a better job if they had just given me money and I'd gone to the store and bought it myself. That's duh, everyone knows that, right? But when you go on Christmas and you're ripping open your presents, like nothing beats that feeling of like not knowing what's in that fucking box and then opening it and like seeing something. So personally, I would rather get this sweatshirt on Christmas morning than going out on Christmas morning and buying the exact sweatshirt I wanted. Does that make sense? I feel like that was actually really good. That was a really good analogy. I'm saving that for a school essay or something. Woo! That's it for now, guys. If you guys actually want to get one, please use my link, that'd be dope. Uh, and if you did enjoy this video, I have no idea how you guys respond to this video because I usually post like video games. So we'll see how you guys like this. If you like it, drop a comment. I'll do another one because it's a monthly subscription. So if you guys actually really like this, I'll keep it going and I'll have them send me another box next month and I'll open the same thing. Hope you guys enjoy. And I don't know why I didn't get pants. I should have mentioned that. I should have gotten pants because all of the boxes on the ads had pants in them. I wanted pants. Either way, that's it for now, guys. Thanks for watching. As always, peace out.